see any more babies we can go ahead and answer that what is your job oh my job yeah how about you <laughs> ask another one uh that's a good one there what is your partner's most annoying trait yeah oh man are y'all trying to cause us to fight no nah. All right, so it is 11 o'clock and my kids are just now wanting to eat breakfast. They have not been wanting to eat in the mornings. They've been waking up at like 9.30, almost 10 o'clock, and then just playing for a little while. And I have to beg them to eat something in the mornings because they are just not hungry. And I'm the same way. I do not like to eat in the mornings. Um, I drink my cup of, co cup of coffee and then I'm like, okay, I'm good until about 12. I'm like, okay, I'm ready to eat lunch. But um, I'm making them pancakes. They requested fun pancakes. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing real quick. All right, so I just heated up these pancakes. These are just some frozen pancakes that we got. And then this is my little basket of like baking stuff and icing and all that kind of stuff. And I actually have these that I had planned on using for something a while back and never even opened them to see if they work. And then I've got some chocolate chips. This is what I usually use. Oh. It is it is actually black cookie icing, but I usually use this to like decorate their pancakes and all. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna open this though and see if this will work. Okay, <laughs> this is my attempt at a bunny, but honestly, I think it looks more like a kitty cat. What is it? What do you think a it is? Cat. A cat? I did it! It's around Easter time. So, so I tried to make a bunny. Yeah, <laughs> they look more like cats. Yours need to be a little bigger. But I, bet... I like a cat. I know, you're obsessed with cats. That's so funny. We should have made the ears bigger. Yeah, I should have made them a little bit longer, huh? Or close together. Oh, you're so smart. Man. All right, well, enjoy your breakfast at 11.20. Those look good. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good, man. So we just got done doing our Easter devotional that we're doing on the YouVersion Bible app. Now we have nothing else. The kids have, we're doing, we're, it's 15 days, so we're actually doing two a day, and the kids get to color a picture that goes along with that devotional each day. And we just keep them in the bag to we remind should, us of the lesson that they learned. We're just going above and beyond coloring the edge. Look at her. Wow. And color from the whole thing. All right, now that the kids have basically eaten brunch, I'm about to make me some turkey and cheese roll-ups here on the stove but chance just made them made these for himself and they looked so good and i haven't had them in a while so i decided i would just eat this so all i did was rolled up my tortillas and put them on here face down so that way this part heats up first and they kind of seal and then um i just have it on low and i'll flip them in just a little bit Jason's jumping on a trampoline. Oh, awesome. They've been out here fishing. Ew, did you kiss a fish? Yuck. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but we have a goose. I don't see it. That usually like hangs out in our yard. Yeah. Hey, where's the goose? Where's Quack Qu or Beak Beak? Oh. 
Okay. You're introducing the daddy show catching a fish. All right, let's see if he can catch one. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> You're crazy. All right, tell us about the trampoline, Kaysen. Nothing. Nothing. It's from Jump Flex. It's from Jump Flex. We have a basketball goal. Has a basketball goal. And a sprayer. And a sprayer, a little sprinkler at the top. We have friends that have this basketball goal, so they do lots of research before they buy things, so I knew that this would be perfect for us. Um, so I'll link this one down in the That's description like, box. She got injured like 500 times. She got injured like 500 times. <laughs> So what we have, we've got graham crackers, some nasty peeps. If you like peeps, let me know. <laughs> jelly beans. Ooh, and these are supposed to be eggs. And then you're supposed to use the edible grass, but I couldn't find any anywhere. So I got sour straws and I figured they could use the green sour straws and make them into small, small pieces to make the little bird house or bird nest. They're gonna put the eggs and the peep inside that and they're gonna make a house out of the graham crackers and then we also have some icing to kind of hold the graham crackers together. are we gonna eat it at the end so simplified ingredients, yeah. simplified ingredients. Sugar, sugar 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 and a little bit more sugar yeah a little bit more sugar nothing but the best for my and kids icing. all right we're getting started this is what the little bird house looks like from pinterest but ours is probably gonna look a little bit different <laughs> It doesn't matter what it looks like. It's gonna be cute. So you you making one? Yeah. All right, I ended up melting some white chocolate chips instead because our cookie icing is not holding these graham crackers together. Y'all just be very, very careful because the bowl is a little warm. Mm. On this? All I'm right. I'm gonna do a little one. I'm gonna do a little one. Okay. So we'll put it on top of where they... That's gonna work good. And it's okay if some gets on the bottom because it can just hold the little nest on, you know? Okay, so you ready? You can. Where do you want yours? Right here. All right, so you're gonna have to hold there? it on there right on the sides. Oh, right. her nest is actually looking really good. Uh, she's, got, she's gonna have a long house, huh? Okay. Yeah, hold it. You're gonna have to hold them straight hold up. Hold it on there and let it, let it, um. You're talking to me. Okay, crazy. You have to hold it there for a minute so that it dries. All right, so it works even better if you just take the graham cracker, just dip it in the side. Oh, chances it's falling over. <laughs> and then we can put the little side on right there. <laughs> You know what show I'd be good on? Look at these. These nailed are looking it. good. So our little mini nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, actually these are totally not tasting for. Mm -hmm. We'll use the hashtag nailed it. What? Sugar? No. I don't know. It is. Kason's not turned out pretty cute. Look, four eggs. Yeah, he's got a red bird's nest in there. So? <laughs> Some eggs and a little peep. Chances trying to Oh. No. Oh, the privacy blind fell. The privacy blind? <laughs> Looks like you're trying to lure a leprechaun. What? Are you making a leprechaun trap? Instead um, of a bird's nest? You know what I think about your comment? What? Ew! <laughs> I'm putting that in there. That's fine. Everybody's gonna hear you poo on camera. Poo? Is it, it's called a fart, maybe. <sighs> it's called a fart! And look at Gracie June. She's got the cutest little nest. She's hiding her egg. The other eggs right here. So, oh. So it's like the privacy of the <laughs> nobody can see that. Hey! Oh. She oh, built a big house, didn't she? 
chance, really. <laughs> what? I had to, to keep the bonds in place. I can't wait to see how yours turns out. All right, so here is Chance's final peeps house. I think he had as much fun. Nest. All right, explain it to us. What is it? Come on. We have the mother and father in the nest. We have a nice a tricolored roof, very sturdy, built in the 1950s. I got it on a, a deal. It was on Zillow for <laughs> half the price. It comes with some blinds that will sway in the breeze. See the breeze? <laughs> breeze in the background. And then there's Kaysen's. I don't know what he added to his. Kaysen's is like Harry I think Potter he's got like some co a security gate That's or something. Harry and Gracie June's wall fell, so. There yeah, is right. mine, uh -huh. and I made a little roof with like two parents. This is the mama and the father. They have this. This, this one is going hunting for the fish. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then who's going to take care of that little nest on the inside? This okay. Looks nice. And now we're gonna clean up our mess. Oh, we go, we go. Mom, let's get up. Yeah. One, two, three. It's time for the party. Our heads are hatching. See? Oh. Mm. Mine are two. I need to sit on them for a little longer though. Fine. My wife's gonna Five, sit on four, three, two, one. <gasps> My eggs are hatching! My eggs are hatching too! Quirk, 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 Hello! What's your name? I'm not going to do Chick! <laughs> me too! Me too! So the kids are about to help me. We are going to make our own little pizza pockets. So you just need some pepperoni mozzarella cheese, pizza sauce, and crescent rolls. You're going to preheat your oven to 375. All right, so you pre spread your pizza sauce. I did one for them to see. Okay, that's good. Get some more. Put some more on there. Ooh. It's okay. Yeah. Yummy, yummy. Is that enough? Get some or do you pizza want more? sauce. Okay. Very good. All Casey. right, Kason's turn. Gracie, next you're gonna get mozzarella. Mozzarella. Ooh, yummy. That's it. Okay, and Spread then it pepperonis. Out. Get it kind of everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Will you help her get the pepperonis out? Mm -hmm. Yep. And just so y'all know, we're not this creative every day. Yummy pizza. Is it gonna be good? Yummy. And then daddy's gonna make his, right? Yes, I'll make one. Okay, I'm done. Alright. You want pepperonis? Here, well, he needs cheese first. Here's your cheese. That looks delicious, Gracie June. Oh. <laughs> she ate a pepperoni. I'll see it. Oh, I'll see it. Oh, Kaysen's doing a good job. Do you like yours cheesy, Kaysen? Me too. I think I got too cheesy. It's all right. So, It'll just melt. You see, a little too precise. <laughs> it's just a pizza. Pizza, pizza. And your peps. And then your peps. Papa Bonnie. Oh, that's dark. Dark as your heart. <laughs> Jesus in my heart. Oh, yeah. Dark. Take the fork and I'm gonna push it down like this. And it can seals I do, the edge. Can I do mine? Yep, you can do yours. Excuse me. I see the holes in it. Oh, you don't no, need to not do right that. there. You don't need that. You don't need to do that side, Gracie. Just mm. watch out. 
Oh, it's hot. Happy. All right, I'm going to put it in the oven. Okay, so you want to set the timer? We're going to do time, and I want you to push up to 13. Nope. Or you can do that, I guess. You want to do that. Start. Where's 13? That's right, start. 13 minutes. Well, so 13, now that you just taught minutes. me something new with the oven timer. <laughs> You're such a genius, man. But how do you do it? We hit the up arrow until yeah, it gets I to the number. I could do that. <laughs> such an idiot. Amy, why are you so not smart? <laughs> Kidding. The only so smart one in this house. You get it from your daddy. No, I get it from my the dad. Because <laughs> that's what you do on the microwave. <laughs> Mind <Face>. blown. <laughs> All right, so it is 4.15 and all of them are having some quiet time in there. So I'm about to go for a little walk around the neighborhood, probably like a 30 minute to an hour walk, just depending on how good it feels right now. It's kind of overcast, so it's kind of nice, a little breeze. Um, but I'm not gonna run today. I might not even do a real workout today. I'm not really sure yet. It just kind of depends on how I feel later because yesterday, I ran and walked and then I also did a high fitness workout. Um, I love high fitness and usually I go to the class, but with everything's going on right now, we can't go to the gym. So I can't go to that class, but they do have a 45 minute workout on their YouTube channel. And it's the only one that they have. It's actually a playlist, but it is such a workout. I burn so many calories and I just love it. It's fun. It's a fun workout to do. So I'll leave a link to that YouTube playlist if you guys want to check that out. But for right now, I think I'm just going to go on a little walk and listen to my book that I'm listening to right now. It's called um, Behind Closed Doors. I'm still listening to that one and it's so good and I'm ready for it to be finished. But with them all being home, I really haven't had a chance to listen to it much. So I love going for walks and runs by myself so I can actually listen. But anyways, enough talking. I'm going to get to my walk. going and getting Dairy Queen for dinner. I don't think the kids and I have left our house in like two weeks. So that was a nice little treat just to get in the car and drive for a few minutes, get our Dairy Queen, come right back home. Um, but now, <laughs> Chance is about to let me cut his hair. All right, let me get a before shot. Yeah, uh, you gotta quit moving. You gotta you got Oh my gosh, look how long it is. You can't make that face though. <laughs> oh, let's get the back. That's wow. Long. That's really long. You Do I need to, I'm gonna actually like buzz cut. Like yes. You really want me to buzz cut you. This is a buzz cut. Cookie, cookie. Like I can't trim the top? No. We can't do a fade or anything? <laughs> Are you ready? Just go slow because I don't want you to. Wait, what do I hold? You don't hold anything. You turn that on. <laughs> oh, it's on. Yeah. Okay. Right. You ready? Yep. I don't want to go here. Start from the bottom. Just go up slow. Wait, don't do it. No. <laughs> Is it short? It's, it's a number four. It shouldn't be that short. <laughs> You're so sweet, baby. What's she say? So I wish you went to minute because I like your hair. You like it long? Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm in the shower. Hey, this isn't even bad. Yes. Mm -hmm. Really get right down the middle? <laughs> Gracie! <laughs> that looks so good! <laughs> For mayor! <laughs> Don't give Lord woman! What are you telling me? <laughs> yeah, but you like this! 
Keep it here. The, Babe, the I tea, can't. The tea, I'm going to drop my neck. Okay. Or I can lean back so you, you can drop down. Okay. Just oh. let me do it. I've done Just it before. Keep the teeth 90 degrees to my hair. Babe, I can't. What, what do you want me to do? Go forward. There. I'm not going to cut you. No, I mean, you're not going to cut me. I don't want you to make me look weird. Oh, yeah. Looks so good. Woo! Did you, did you put my initials in there? Important these sideburns and good hair stuff. It actually doesn't look bad. Hold on, Mom. Stuck to you and you know you see it. This hair? I'm gonna take oh, a shower recording. a little bit. Yeah, I'm recording. Gosh, my hairline is receding <laughs> so bad. All right, so we're gonna add the Q&A into this video because um, I asked for questions a couple weeks ago on Instagram and on the community tab here on YouTube. So we'll answer some of your questions. I'm gonna link our first Q&A that we ever did together down in the description box because a lot of these questions were actually answered in that one. So things like how Chance proposed to me, how we met, um, whether we're having more babies or not. A lot of that stuff is linked in that Q&A or we answered in that Q&A. So I'll link that one down in the description box. But we haven't talked about any of these questions. So I'm just gonna kinda go through and answer some. Some others, we might have to do two Q and A's because there are a lot of questions. Um, all right, so first question, are you in your forever home? I think so. I think we're definitely unless, set here. Unless you pop out another kid or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I think we, we love our house, we love our neighborhood, and we definitely plan on being here through like the kids being in high school and everything. I don't see us moving. I don't know. Don't probably. So. We're probably in our forever home. Um, how do you keep a strong marriage with all the stresses in the world? You wait on me to answer that? Yeah. Through prayer, through <clears throat> putting uh, God first in your own life. Um, without Him, I don't think we could love each other because we're both you know, imperfect people. So we both have flaws. So if we, uh, you know, we commit our lives to, to Christ and, and give our lives to God, and He fixes our own lives first, and then we can love each other through that. I mean, yeah, and we did kind of talk about that in our first Q and A too, about how you know God is at the center of our relationship. We've done tons and tons of like different marriage studies with different small groups through our church, and. Um, those have been really helpful. We haven't done any in a really long time, but I think we've put a lot of those different studies to work in our lives, in our marriage, and they have been so great. So if I can, I'll link some of the ones that we have done in case you guys want to check those out, but we've done a lot of really good ones. Has our marriage been perfect? No. Not at all. No. Mainly I don't because think it's any marriage fault, is perfect. But, I mean, we don't really want to discuss that. <laughs> One thing that we do know in our marriage is divorce is not an option so but I really don't feel like we ever get I mean we've had especially at the beginning of our marriage we had a lot of things that would come up you know a lot of things to work through being a new married couple and I think that you have seasons in your life that you're gonna go through that but if you have your foundation is set mm -hmm. is that the right yeah if your foundation is there then I don't think that it could ever break so Good answer. All right, moving on. Another question that has been asked over and over, and we did talk about in our first Q&A, but I'm gonna let you answer this because it has been asked so much recently, was what is your job? Oh, my job? Yeah. How about you ask another one? Uh, I'm in 
a medical sales professional. Um, I sell orthopedic implants to surgeons in the surrounding area. Um, so when you go into the hospital, what do you, you go into the... So we set up the scrub techs and tell them what the surgeon's going to use. He uses our implants and the pain patients for orthopedic stuff like total knees, spine, uh, rotator cuff repair, ACL repair, stuff like that, sports medicine injuries and stuff like that. And so he wears scrubs. We get a lot of questions about why he's in scrubs and he's in scrubs because he actually goes into the surgeries. So yep. he has to be in scrubs. Um, okay. Um, I talked a lot. I think I talked about why I left teaching in that first Q and A too, right? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Well, go ahead. okay. So basically one of the questions was what made you choose to leave the classroom and will you ever go back? And the, I've always wanted to be a stay at home mom since having Kaysen. Now before that, I never, ever, ever in my wildest dreams would have imagined being a stay at home mom. Like I just never thought I wouldn't be a teacher. So, um, after having Kaysen, God put that on my heart and we couldn't do that financially until I, years later after we paid off all of our debt, which we got a lot of financial questions. So we might do another Q and A that answers all your financial questions and like how we went about the whole debt snowball thing. I've told you guys before that we've done Dave Ramsey. It's amazing. We did Financial Peace University. We went through all of that. So I can kind of talk about that in another video just because this, there's a lot of questions about that. But basically after we did all of that, we finally had the opportunity, Chance switched companies. He was offered health insurance with his new company. And so that was our opportunity to just try and see if we can make it work. And it worked out for us. So God was, God showed up big time in that. Yeah. Time and that's, for sure. that's definitely an example of something that we prayed about for a really, really long time. And God didn't tell us, no, he just, it, what, what are the things that they say all the time? He's either going to give you, when you pray, God always has an answer. It's either a yes, a no, a later, or there's one more. Oh, no. It's In a different later. way or something. Or anyways, later. he basically told us to, yeah, it was wait. later. We wait. had to wait. Yeah, yeah wait. It's just three, yeah. Okay, so that was an answered prayer. It was just not answered in our time it was answered in his time so it all worked out um Do okay <laughs> how long were you together before having kids and someone else wrote asked this asked a similar question like how did you know you were ready to have kids and how, how, we were we married okay so we were married for two years before Kaysen was born Okay. He was Sorry. born, well, actually, it was right before two years, right? Yeah. Because we were, we were together, we were married for a little over a year when I got pregnant with Kaysen, probably like, a, I guess, a year and a half, maybe, whatever that is. And then I had Kaysen in June, his birthday is June 15th, and then we had our second year anniversary on June 21st. Did not so. waste time. <laughs> it's kind of a, and uh, the other question was, how did you know you were ready to have kids? We didn't know that we were ready to have kids, and um, Kaysen was a little bit of a surprise, but he was a good surprise and a blessing, and then we did plan Gracie June because we knew we wanted our kids to be close in age, so they are exactly two years and one month apart, so that was good for us. Um, we don't regret it at all. It's awesome. Let's see. Any more babies? We can go ahead and answer that. Who knows? Somebody said in maybe, your last Q&A, somebody said in your last Q&A, you talked about not being sure if you wanted more kids or not. We were like, probably not. We're not sure. Uh, we still don't know. You always ask me, like, let's have another one. <laughs> we always bring it up. I'm like, yes. <laughs> and then we go back and forth because I just think like our kids are so self-sufficient and they're in sports and it's just, I just feel like it would be a lot to bring another baby into the mix and have well, to drag a baby around everything. We could handle it, but I don't know why we just... I don't know. Something. And then I don't know where we would, what we would do. Like, obviously a baby could sleep in our room for a while, but then 
like with Kaysen and Gracie June being older and two years apart and a boy and a girl, we only have those two bedrooms and we have the bonus room, but I just, I don't know where a baby would and the downstairs have room. a room. I don't know. Office. Most likely we won't have any more kids. It could be a little boss baby. But you never know. Kaysen was a surprise, so it could happen, I guess. Um, one of the questions was, what are your love languages? Uh, I think mine was physical touch. Yeah. Quality Complete. Time. Physical touch and quality yeah. time. Yeah. And, and mine are acts of service and words of affirmation. Is that what they are? Mm -hmm. Noted. Yeah. <laughs> we did that five, long, five love languages forever ago. Times. It's been a really, really long time, but... Maybe we need to get a refresh on that. Um, do you ever plan, oh, I didn't answer that part. Do you ever plan to go back to teaching? I'm not sure. I'm not positive. Um, another question was, do you plan to go back to work doing something else if, if other than YouTube? And right now, I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. Things are going well for right now. I love what I'm doing. I love all the time that I get with my kids when they're out of school. Um, it's been such a blessing, so right now we're just kind of taking it year by year and seeing how things go. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite food? Wow, that's one in there. That's a simple one. Chick-fil-A for you? Yeah, I think everybody that knows me or has been watching for a little bit knows Chick-fil-A is definitely my favorite food. Spicy chicken sandwich, medium fry, mm -hmm. large diet Dr. Pepper with Chick-fil-A sauce. There you go. I don't know. Mine's tough. I like Steak. a lot of things. I know that's my favorite meal. Like I like a good ribeye with a bad day of onion in the in the oven on it. That's good. And a wedge salad. It's a good meal, but I also like sushi. Mm -hmm. Sushi's like our go-to date night. So those are like my two favorite foods. Alright. Um... Apple, apple pie with ice cream. <laughs> Ice cream and pecan pie, apparently. Peach cobbler. Um, let's see. That's a good one there. What is your partner's most annoying trait? Yeah. Oh man, are y'all trying to cause us to fight? No. Nah. You want to fight? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I want to say it's annoying. Okay, what's well, but... not? Yeah, yeah, he's all <laughs> ready to answer this one. Um. <clears throat> How do I put this? I don't know, I'm going to come back to that one because I can't put it into words. Okay, I can tell you my most annoying trait for you. Oh, what is it? <laughs> I don't listen. I leave my... Well. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? No, um, when you put stuff like your clothes on the floor right beside <laughs> the hamper or leaving your shoes, like all everybody leaves their shoes right beside where we walk in, um, what's that called? The island in the kitchen. Uh, and I trip over them, or your shoes uh, right there. I trip the shoes everywhere in this house. I just trip over all of them all the time. I can't see. I'm like Cooper. I yeah. can't see. Oh, I can't think of one all of a sudden. Oh, and you were <laughs> the one that wanted to answer this. I would say it was a good question. So what's my most really annoying thought, trait? I, really thought about it. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna come back to that. You I'm have to answer it before we end this video right. because. <laughs> All right, cliffhanger, guys. He's going to think of the most annoying trait All right. of mine. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. Do you get judgment from the church for doing YouTube? I don't think we're big enough for that yet. Our church is huge. I don't, our church is really big, <clears throat> and they have a YouTube channel. They have Facebook. They have Instagram. They promote all that stuff, and I don't even know if, like, they even know that I'm a YouTuber. I know that some of the people that work there know, like the people that we work with and our, um, what's it called? Just our, where we serve. serve. The service we do there. And then a couple people that sing there, but I don't think that. I mean, they yeah. wouldn't care. And they wouldn't care either. It's unless not like we we're doing were, anything unless, crazy. Unless I'm saying, unless we were doing stuff that like was false against teaching. the church's you know, mission statement and against their beliefs and what we believe in as Christians. Yeah, and I think, I think ultimately, I think that they would probably be proud of us because 
we talk about our faith a lot on our channel that's a huge thing in our lives and that's something that we want people to know about so um i don't think that they would ever have a problem with what we've shown so far on our channel have you both always been strong in your faith some people have asked for testimonies and i feel like that would take a really long time yeah so. i mean we could give a short version but that those are that's a very similar question yeah um no, I was not. I found Christ in high school in ninth grade. Um, changed my life drastically then to, into college, um, especially since I met you. And then, I mean, it's been, I mean, it hasn't been roses and butterflies ever since, right. but um, no, I have not always been this strong. No, it's been a it's been a growing a growing season for sure over my life. So, and for me, um, I was baptized when I was ten years old, and then right after that, my parents divorced, and we quit going to church. Um, I never had anybody taking me to church or anything like that. So, I feel like I had. Like, I mean, I knew what I, I knew when I accepted Christ that that's what I was doing, but because I wasn't continuing in the church, I wasn't growing, I was only 10 years old, so I feel like I just didn't have that guidance that I needed, but always in the back of my head, I just knew what was right was wrong. Doesn't mean I always followed that, but once I got into, when I was in college, I actually was dating a guy before Chance, and I remember him asking me, if I was a Christian and we'd been dating for a good while and so when he asked me that I just got so defensive and was so upset and I was like how can you not know that I'm a Christian and then I realized that none of my actions met up with living the life that a Christian would live and so I realized that I was the one in the wrong and that's when I decided to turn things around and I started reading my Bible daily I was doing devotionals and then shortly after that is when we met. You keep hitting that. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Sorry. Shortly after that was when Chance and I met. Me and my other boyfriend had broken up. And I don't think you were. <laughs> Stole you. Well, no, we were broken up before well, that. Awesome. But anyways, after that, I completely turned my life around and started, you know, walking with the Lord instead of just calling myself a Christian basically. So that's where it all started for me. Like really started for me. Could do it. Was in college. Could do a more in depth testimony on yeah. the video probably. Alright. Um, let's see. This is for chance. This is from Aaron. I said it's a good question. I didn't say I could answer it. <laughs> I'm just getting out. That's a good one. Go ahead. Erin has been following me for a really long time, and I just love her. She always leaves me the sweetest messages on Instagram. She's so Thanks. encouraging, so we'll answer her question for sure. Um, Chance, what is the biggest positive change you've seen in Amy since she began YouTube? Um, oh, well, I think you've been more outgoing about your faith, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, you, you've always been an outgoing person, I think, but more so along the lines of sharing your faith and, and sharing your relationship with Jesus and stuff like that to strangers. I mean, that's positive change. That's awesome. That's what I believe. All right. Awesome. Do you and Chance ever get into big disagreements or fights? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes over dumb stuff, we I think. We fight over petty things. Like, like when it's when I'm PMSing <laughs> <laughs> and things just get on my nerves or if we're just around each other for a really long time I and know. I need my space. That's not true. We've been around each other a lot over the last yeah, two but and I think, a half weeks and we haven't I think, argued hardly at all. I know, but and we don't, but I think it's because you kind of shut it down pretty quickly and you just kind of let things go and I'm just like, all right, we're done. Like, I made my point, we're good. Uh, <laughs> you know? Well. So, I mean, of yes, course we've had, we've had them, huge disagreements over, in the past, but most of the time we... It's over stupid stuff, like, 
Why'd you talk? Why'd you say it like that? Yeah, Why'd you we say always like argue that? about the way I say something, or you know, we think we're, we, we think we're being snippy with each other, or yeah. getting an attitude, and it wasn't meant to come across that way. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I can imagine this happens with every, but I'm sure every that, married yeah. couple. But it's All right. Cool when you All right. Well, now I'm on the YouTube one. All right, so what was, what is your number one must-do recommendation in Savannah? <laughs> oh, I'm from here. I don't even have a good recommendation. Um, I mean, going downtown for sure. If you're not from Savannah, then go downtown and just... Find a good restaurant. Find, there's to tons of good restaurants. Uh, maybe go Tours, by, like a trolley tour or a ghost tour. Fun. To go see... Um, What's that place out there with all the oak trees? Oh, Wormslow. Wormslow. But it's a trick. Like they have a trail and stuff. It's really, really pretty. The beach. You can find better beaches. Yeah. You don't come. We to don't Saturday usually to go, go to Ty like we don't even usually go to Tybee. Um, we would prefer to go to like St. Simons or Hilton Head, but this one says, "What are each of y'all's dream job? Do you have a dream job?" All I know is uh, I, well, I intended to go to PA school and become a physician's assistant, and uh, that just didn't work out. I don't know if that did, that would be my dream job, um, to be honest with you. I like what I'm doing now. I mean, I enjoy it a lot. I like what I'm doing now, too. I like that I get to meet all of you and get to talk to people that I never would have talked to. This Otherwise, has to be, this has to be your dream job. And I know. You're it's just, at home. <laughs> I'm at home, Working. but I also, I mean, like the messages that I get is what encourages me. And but, hey, your if words you've of ever, affirmation look yeah, like and so. if you've ever done like the Enneagram test and figured out what your Enneagram, Enneagram number is, I'm a three, a seven, and a one. Three was the highest, and it's basically like being outgoing and you know um like the words of affirmation sort basically of thing basically the same like and in so, what people say about you yeah you care about what people say and think yeah, about you so yeah. i think i'm doing exactly what i was meant to do right now yeah and i and i can kind of teach along with it you know kind of put my own spin on teaching mm -hmm. but what do each of you like to do for fun what do you like to do for fun I can answer that for you. What? Play Call of Duty. I only do it just because there's nothing else to do sometimes. Yeah. I like to hunt and I like to fish. I caught some fish today. Yeah. No one likes to do that. I don't like to fish. Um, it's not fun to me. I like to play sports with the kids, go outside and play basketball. Are you tired? <laughs> the camera got full. I had to delete some stuff. All right, so Chance likes to fish, hunt, play sports with the kids you keep hitting that i just i realized it right <sighs> last second my toe hit it um all right yeah that's pretty much it and i like to i like to listen to books on audible <laughs> i get i get like obsessed with them and so i like to do that i like to work out somewhat i'm a podcast guy i listen yeah. to books too but podcasts are good um yeah. i like i used to be a really big crafter but then i think after doing my etsy shop i just kind of i needed a break and got burnt out on it and so i haven't done a lot of craft stuff in a long time um but that used to be something i was really interested in but so that's all the things i think i love to do all right did you think of uh, Real quick, how trait. yeah, real quick, how old are you? Thirty-five. And I'm thirty-four. <laughs> you are thirty-four, okay. And our kids are <laughs> eight and six, about to be nine, nine and seven, seven this summer. And in Cooper, June, July. And Cooper will be eleven. This Cooper month. is eleven he's already eleven. He's already eleven. Yeah. Sure. Um and we met in Valdosta at Valdosta State University. So yes, we both went to college. That was another question. All right. What was the most annoying trait? What'd you come up with? I think maybe you're, sometimes you're just too snappy. I don't know. 
<laughs> I can't think of one. Come on, you made them wait around for that. You can just you gotta edit come up it with out something. and just never put it in there. <laughs> I don't know, maybe uh... That's something that annoys you, that you wish I didn't do. I don't know. You do everything so great. <laughs> All right. I don't know. You yell at me about my shoes? <laughs> Is my new obsession with TikTok annoying? Uh, no, it's yet. not yet, but not it's yet. getting there. Golly, so I finally got on TikTok, TikTok, and it's so much fun. Chance is going to do a bunch with me. He did, <laughs> we did a little, one of the little questions on there. So if you want to follow us on TikTok, I'll leave a link to our TikTok down below. We're going to be doing some fun stuff because I'm going to make him. <laughs> we'll see about that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for hanging out with us today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave us any more questions. We'll do another Q&A if you guys want one and have more questions for us. We hope y'all are doing well, hanging in there during all of this. And... Got anything else? Anything? You have anything? I don't have anything else. <laughs> all right, well, we'll see you guys in the next Bye. video. Bye. Bye. Bye.